tender submission for the Air Ministry specification B3546 by Avros was a Delta IV jet aircraft. The advantage of the Delta was you could get everything inside. It made a clean aeroplane in the sense that it created very deep wing sections which would house the engines and at the same time all the fuel tanks and permit the bomb compartment to be in the fuselage which meant that you could fly at very high speed. That's at the beginning. Then the problems start. Somebody had to decide that you were going to actually cut metal and start really doing it. In the company's wind tunnel at Woodford, the aerodynamic characteristics of the new platform were thoroughly investigated. So little was known of the practical behavior of the Delta Wing that an unusual decision was made. Experimental aircraft, exact third-scale replicas of the new bomber, were built for research into the handling characteristics of aircraft of this shape. It was at this stage, early in 1950, that Mr. Rowley Falk joined the company. Mr. Falk probably knows more about Delta Wing aircraft than any other pilot. He began development flights at a crucial stage. Two third-scale research aircraft were built to try out the flying characteristics for the projected bomber. The 707A was made for high-speed flying and the 707B for low-speed handling. As soon as we were thoroughly satisfied with the low-speed handling of the Deltas, I started on testing the high-speed aircraft, this, the 707A. It was the first time any Delta Wing aircraft had flown in Britain and it aroused great curiosity, which wasn't entirely confined to the aeronautical profession. 